the work of Bianti at all, orthopedic sports physical therapy. They did a study on the diffusion of water and nutrients into the intervertebral disc coming through the end plate of the vertebra from the vertebral body itself through the end plate into the nucleus and annular fibers of the disc. They found that changes in the diffusion of water within the lumbar disc at the lumbar levels appear to be related to the differences in within session pain reports following a single spinal manipulative treatment. When they studied these people, they found that the people under diffusion weighted lumbar MRI immediately before and after receiving a treatment of spinal manipulative therapy saw an increase in the diffusion of fluid water into the intervertebral disc in the lumbar spine. Another factor which means success of relief and pain and disability from spinal manipulation. Again, think about that as I repeat the paper by Kuo that we just looked at. Tracks and treatment is effective in enhancing the nutrient supply as this increased water flow into the disc takes place, promoting disc cell proliferation. I've used this since 1966. This is discat enhanced. What is it? It's chondroitin sulfate from the highest source on earth, the green-lipped mussel from New Zealand called Perna camelliculus. In the first three months of treating disc degeneration with radicular component or spinal stenosis and disc herniation, we will place people on three of these in the morning, three of these at night, up to 4,000 milligrams per day, at the end of three months of treatment, I reduced this by 50% as a maintenance dosage. Therefore, by the work of Kuo, Beati, and Wong, when we increase the imbibition of fluid into the disc, we furnish them with the chondroitin sulfate, the chemical in the disc that has the ability to imbibe fluids to nine times its own volume to reduce inflammation, stop degenerative change, and as future research needs to show, what is the ability of this to even create some regenerative change? Discat enhanced. Study it. I have studied it. I even make a brochure with 82 references on the benefits of chondroitin sulfate. Yes, even in the reduction of coronary artery disease, colorectal cancer, and even carcinoma of the lung. Yes, and some authors discuss even Alzheimer's disease. So I give this to people to read. I tell them this is important as we simulate molecular transport of these nutrients into the disc when degenerative change due to spinal stenosis and disc herniation take place.